What's going on, everybody? It is CGA, the Notorious One, back here on the Notorious CGA channel. Do me a favor, hit the like and the subscribe button, and we're going to get to it, man. Today is a beautiful, beautiful, windy day here um, in Nevada, and what I was going to do is I was actually going to work on my new Traeger pellet smoker, all right? Now, as you guys know, if you've been following my Instagram, I do have a smoker, but it is an old Betsy, as I call her, all right? And old Betsy does the trick. There's a lot of firefighting that I have to do to get old Betsy going. As you can see right here, there's a lot of firefighting that old Betsy needs in order to get that smoker going. And it's a lot of work, but on a windy day, it's pretty much a risk, especially if you're living here in the desert storm bunker. And since it is a lot of work, I thought maybe if I can do something convenient, I'll go get the Traeger. All right, I'm going to go get the Traeger and uh, the pellet grill. No firefighting. All right, all you have to do is put the pellets in here and it does the work. However, the first go at smoke ribs is not going. All right, so I'm going to have to figure out how to use it. Probably going to waste a little bit of money, energy, attention, and time and all that. But with that being said nonetheless let's get into this um are you looking for a breakthrough okay i'm looking for a breakthrough i'm always constantly looking for a breakthrough i know a lot of people might be in a position where you don't have it all figured out let me tell you something let me tell you something and by the way nova is down there and uh she just pooped in the house so nova's looking for a breakthrough as well and she's outside for punishment all right, but she's got a little upset stomach, diarrhea, indigestion, and whatnot. So I'm working through that. And it's been a while since she's been like that. All right, so uh, her diet is pretty much steady. And the thing is, I actually tried a new treat uh, for her this week. And of course, it didn't work. So it's giving her diarrhea. And now I'm going to have to work through that. So that means a couple of nights of diarrhea in the cage. All right, so in her crate. It's going to be like that. But anyway, are you looking for that dynamic breakthrough? Well, you might look at a person like myself and you might say, well, you're successful. What are you looking for a breakthrough for? OK, well, yes, successful people can. And now, you know, success is relative, but successful people can get to a point where they get stagnant. Right. The creativity is off because the things that they got successful for works. So when that happens, people think that all you have to do is do that one thing and be content and you'll continue to be successful well that is true but the thing is the thing that made you successful the all of the hard work that supposedly made you successful becomes easy for instance let me give you an idea let's just say you want to create content and that's where i've been pretty successful at the last couple of years you create content and it takes you hours, blood, sweat, and tears to edit one video. The learning curve is extremely high. Every time you break down a video, it becomes, uh, it's, it's a work in progress. You learn, you upgrade your camera materials, right? You start upgrading all of these things, right? And you start learning on a daily basis so that when you start doing it, uh, your equipment is inefficient. So you're having to work around that. You don't have the proper lighting. You don't have the proper, you don't know what to talk about. Your speech is all messed up. OK, everything takes a lot of time. Well, just imagine that same process. You do that repetitively over years. And then when you do it, you get better at it. You get to be rewarded by it. Then you get to get better equipment. Then the process doesn't take hours. It takes minutes. You know, you, you, bas you basically be able to cut the process down by, you know, a quarter. Right. And so it takes you less time to produce that content or less time to do a project. And then when that happens, you take on more projects because you can do it easily. Like for instance, me, I start doing multiple channels with multiple subject matter, right? Because making the content is easy, plus getting rewarded for it. I'm not stressed about getting rewarded for it because you're in a place where you've already had the success. Well, some people says, well, just keep doing that, right? Don't worry about it. Even if it's boring, even if it's repetitive, so you hire people to do it and then then you have more time. Right. And so you enjoy it. You go on a few vacations, you get a couple of new items that you've been always wanted. And then what you kind of get stuck. So then you look for a new challenge. OK, 
in that new challenge that you do, you're looking for a breakthrough in that new challenge. And so I'm with you guys. So I'm, I'm talking to you right right now and you're looking for that breakthrough in life. I'm talking to you because I'm in the same space, even though I have something working for me here and it's very magical. I love the process. That's why it's a passion project. And so I can enjoy it while I do it. However, I'm always continuing to still look for a breakthrough. And sometimes it's not what you think. Like you might think, oh, I'm trying to get a million subscribers. Well, that's not it, all right? I mean, if, it's just a number, okay? Um, I'm trying to get a plaque or something like that. I like to see, I, I'd like to see, honestly, two more channels get to 100,000 subs. It's difficult because I do have two channels very close, but they're both demonetized, so that kind of sucks. Um, so I'm having to work on these other channels potentially to get that. But I would like to see two more channels get to 100,000 subs. Um, and if the main channel got to a million by hook or by, it's demonetized. So it's almost impossible. But um, really, those are the only numerical goals that I'm chasing. In terms of money, of course, I would like to continue it. But I'm still on the journey for a major breakthrough. And I just don't know. Uh, I do know what it is. I can't share it with you. But... The process requires me to continue to work hard on a daily basis, even though other perceives me as successful, right? You can perceive me as, hey, he got it made in the shade. It ain't like that with me, man. I've never had that, that moment of where I would love to be content. And I'm 47 years old. I don't see that moment constantly trying to work through a breakthrough. So listen. The point of this video is I know you're looking for something. You're on a journey. You're on a journey of self-discovery. You're on a journey to see if everything you have in terms of your talent, your work ethic, and or your goals or your vision can produce a certain breakthrough. Here to tell you, I, I'm very, I'm, I'm hopeful. <laughs> All right. I don't like the word hope, but I'm hoping everybody can feel that breakthrough. Because when you do and you start applying everything that you risk, sacrifice, everything that you've done to get that breakthrough, then you're going to realize you need to set the goal again. All right. You, you need to do a, something else to give you a certain uh, relative moment of success or establish something in your mind that you can continue to set as a goal. And if you get this early, you find that people get this breakthrough early. Once they have that breakthrough, they, they they are content for a while, but then they want to push through again. And if they really don't push through, they are lost. All right. And so you don't want to have that sense of being lost. But let me just tell you, if you're on a journey to find what it is that can reward you and uh, produce, produce a legacy, produce fruit for you, produce income, money. Let me tell you something. I want you to get it. I want you to find it and I want you to live it out into, you know, all those dreams come to fruition. And then be able to move and reestablish a new goal, all right? And so for me, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna continue doing what I'm doing, but also I see something bigger and it has nothing to do, let me tell you something, it has nothing to do with things anymore, all right? Things are things with CGA. I was able to get some things and now I got them and now not much looking good these days. And if it does look good, it's way too expensive, man. You know what I mean? I'm trying to buy a, I'm trying to buy a Cessna at this point, I'm trying to buy a big old bus where I can tour to the to the to the country or something like that. That's what I'm looking for. I I went across the uh, seas a couple of times. Okay, um, I'm looking for not necessarily things. I'm looking for things that can reward me, but I can believe in them, and I can love waking up every day to get to those things. Okay, that is the ultimate goal. All right, Jim Carrey said as much as well. He said, "I wish all men." could be rich and have everything they've ever wanted so they can realize that that ain't it. All right. Same thing with women. You can wish that you can fornicate with every woman on the world on planet earth, that every woman you talk to lies down on her back and meow. All right. And let me tell you, there's men that have that. And if you can't get a control of that, that will, that will um, pretty much get you to the point where You'll be searching endlessly for a woman to make you get the biggest, biggest nut. All right. You want to bust the biggest nut. You want to find that woman. All right. And you'll go on a journey to try to get that. And then you'll hit a thousand women. And guess what? Still the same old nut. All right. And then you'll realize, yeah, you might be at a point now where you would do everything you can to try to get a woman 
or multiple women or a high body count. But then when you get it, now what? All right, women are not one of those things that you should be working hard for to get because once you get them, it's kind of like what Jim, Jim Carrey said. Once you, once you get it, you will realize that that ain't it. And I want to take you guys to a higher level. Go ahead and go watch your favorite dating coach. And yes, you know, you can go to the junior college and get you a couple pieces of peace leave. All right. That's what I've been telling you in my book, 52 Things. Should be free on my website. All right. My website kind of down, but we'll fix that. But let me tell you, once you do that, you're going to realize there's something else out here that you want. And that ain't it. Anyway, hope, hope you guys get the breakthrough that you want. Meanwhile, I'm going to keep working for the breakthrough that I want to have. I was supposed to go to a hockey game today. All right, and if you go check the, um, if you're watching this on another day, I was going to go to the Golden Knights Edmonton Oilers game three. I believe it was game three. I can't remember what game. Maybe it's game two. Anyway, I was going to go to the game today. And uh, I just checked and I sat at home and I was actually redistributing my goals. I was smoking my, on my grill. And I said, you know what? I'm going to stay here and work on a Saturday. And guess what? Edmonton smoking them. Four to zero in the first period. All right, I'm glad I didn't even waste my time going to that game. And uh, I would have been down 500 bucks, even with parking, the ticket, and food, and all of that. And if I would have took a woman, that would have been down a 1,000 bucks just to go see the Golden Knights get smoked. Anyway, I'm going to check on these ribs. I'm going to have to find another dinner tonight. All right, because that ain't it. And we'll be back, man. We out.